Is that my uh, liquid refreshment for the journey, Mr. Boo? Exactly. Little blue cocktail. Mr. Boo is filling up the windscreen Wesher compartment. Hi, welcome back to me and Long Toothless and me. Uh, and today we've um, well, we've got a very special episode. I always say that, don't I? But we have because not only are we going to do a spectacular 60-kilometer round trip along the coast to the last point of France, the wonderful seaside town of Monton, but we're going there not to visit the cathedral, but to go and see a potential new dog. So, if you've uh, been following our adventures over the last few weeks, you'll know that we had uh, a terrible misadventure because our wonderful 14 and a half year old Chihuahua, Halloween, um, sadly went over the Rainbow Bridge. That's a phrase I only learned because Halloween uh, died because I'd, I'd never heard of the Rainbow Bridge, but lots of you mentioned it in comments. Um, and I have to say, the comments that you made were and continue to make on that video are really quite moving because um, I, I hate to use that modern phrase triggering but clearly that video was triggering for many people and it brought back memories of uh, the deaths of their own dogs and having to have them put put down taken to the vet etc um, and uh, reading some of your stories it's 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 incredible just how uh, affecting and raw that experience is even though you think you're doing the right thing you know you're doing the right thing it still feels very cruel doesn't it really yeah. um anyway life has to go on and uh we've ummed and ahed about uh going to see other dogs we've looked on lots and lots. well mr boo has looked on lots and lots so many <laughs> sites Pages. Uh, particularly ones for dog shelters because we were, we were sort of hoping to get a rescue dog. Uh, the problem we have is um, our house is even smaller than our car or it's about comparable in terms of living space. So whatever we get has got to be micro. And we've really struggled to find micro rescue dogs, haven't we? Yes. In fact, we've come across virtually none. Um, bigger dogs older dogs etc there's there's lots of so anyway mr boo then came across th this um this little chihuahua 16 months old she's 16 months old i believe uh and she's um she's been a show dog apparently she's already had a life in show business a life in show business she's she's won some cups uh and uh, so she's a you know she's she's pretty apparently uh, but unfortunately she's had an accident uh, apparently in the garden and scratched her eye and she had to then have a some kind of operation which we are going to investigate with the, the breeder because we obviously want to try and know exactly what what this involves um, but she's had this operation um, to have you know what removed as Quentin Chris said no she hasn't had that um, to have this thing removed for her eye and it's left a little white patch which apparently uh, it looks a little bit like a sort of cataract doesn't it in the pictures um which apparently will will make a she just won't win beauty contests which is is um i think they should have you know beauty contests for chihuahuas that take in all disabilities don't you should right like, more inclusivity more inclusivity that's the phrase i was looking for mr boo inclusivity um, so anyway, we're going to see this uh, this Chihuahua breeder. We've checked out the breeder um, via a friend of ours, Jilly, who you may remember from one of our earlier vlogs, who's a wonderful dog photographer, but also an ex-judge of Crufts. Uh, so she knows a thing or two about dogs. She's looked at the pictures. Uh, her instinct is that uh, it's all good. And as she said, um, even if a dog loses sight in one eye, they cope really quite well. Uh, so, um, but obviously we, we, we would rather not uh, have that, wouldn't we? Yeah. 
Well, anyway, let's see what happens uh, when we get to Monton. But um, as usual, sit back and, uh, well, enjoy the ride. Covered, Mr. Boo, from the absence of Halloween. No, I think I'm still processing my grief in my own particular way. <laughs> crying myself to sleep <laughs> and crying myself as I ride Camilla in the <laughs> in the rain. It's funny, isn't it, grief? Because it goes in waves. One minute you're completely fine, and then it suddenly assails you for no reason, from nowhere, uh, and whatever. But. I know lots of people said, oh, just get a dog straight away, get a new one straight away. And, I, you know, I think that's advice I once gave to somebody who has lost a dog. Um, but it, it's not always that simple and it's not... And everybody's different, I guess, aren't they? Think think differently. Yeah. Um, and also, I've got to be honest, there's a bit of me was, as, you know, Halloween was lovely, but uh, <laughs> when, when it thunders and lightnings here, and the other night there was the most monumental storm, all I could think about was the noise that Halloween would have made and the fact that we would have had even less sleep than we did. Yeah. Because the minute it starts to rain, she'd go crazy. The minute there was thunder within a 300 kilometer radius, a big radar tower ears went up and she knew, and then she'd start fretting. She'd start going, <laughs> like that. Creating a very special <laughs> energy in the house. And, and I'd be trying to work and there'd be manic energy and then it, He'd have to take it out because I said, I cannot work with this manic energy around me. Uh, but, um, so you know, it, 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 as I'm sure all of you know, are dog owners, they, they, they are quite demanding, tiring things, and, and they're not something you can just leave at home and turn off. And they're, they're not, what do you call those, those Tamagotchis? Tamagotchi. They're not a Tamagotchi, are they? What are you feeling about this puppy? What's it called? Oh, well. She's called Arabaz. Arabaz? Baz for short. Well, it is French for the at sign. Oh, Arabaz. that's good. That's quite modern. Yeah, I like me and mon ami, Arabaz, iCloud.com. But it's a bit of a gobful in the park, isn't it? Arabaz. I can't. Arabaz? Hey, up, Arabaz. Hi. It doesn't sound very me. I mean, no, ha Halloween was bad enough. We didn't name her Halloween. She was born on Halloween. Um, so, so you think you'd have to change change her name? Is that going to be possible? Well, I've done some reading, mm. um, and yes, it sounds like it's it's possible and quite common. You can should only really do it once. You can't mm. just like change her name every week. No, I wouldn't do that. And and what do you think the odds are of of you seeing this? Puppy, 16 month old puppy, and falling in love and bringing it home with us, or, or having second thoughts. I'm worried that you've already made your mind up, or maybe we both have. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm excited to meet her, but I really don't know. It's a, it's a funny feeling. It's only. She's very cute in pictures, and I've seen a couple of videos of her, mm. but um, it's only the eye situation if I think it's going to be a, a um, problem for her and for us and yeah. endless medical bills and yeah, yeah. eyes popping out. I agree because she's obviously with a good home and, and a reputable breeder and things. Um, so I, yeah that is my worry. Um, about to uh, enter the People's Republic of Monaco and uh, 
Uh, this is absolutely the first time we've been back here with the cameras on. So um, let's see what happens. But following the Citroen Ami incident at the Fairmont hairpin, we have a feeling the police won't welcome cars with cameras on. But uh, we'll risk it because as we go through Monaco, you'll see some of the preparations for the Grand Prix because the stadiums, etc., are all up. Uh, they were up a couple of weeks ago for the Epri, the electric Grand Prix. Um, but uh, let's see if we get told off. Or whether, maybe the police will have gone inside because it's raining, Mr. Maybe. Boo. They'll have taken to their beds, you think. If we go past these policemen at the end here, slowly we'll be in trouble. Oh, come on, move. Oh, they're usually on this corner, aren't they? Oh, I can see a bike, I can see a bike. I can see a cop. I see a cop, oh dear. Just did it. Didn't even blink. Didn't he? No. Grand Prix circuit. See the grandstands, the pit lane over there, Raskas just under there. Of course, Elton's a, a veteran of the Grand Prix track. Absolutely. Been on here many times. Check out the video where Elton attempted to do the quickest lap time. That was uh, a hilarious one, wasn't it? That was hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> Each time that Neil Hamilton will be driving up here, Mr. Boo. He likes that joke. My Neil Hamilton mixing up with Lewis Hamilton. It's one of his favourites. In the colour that matches my bonnet. Oh, no, it's not a test. Only the best. Oh, yeah, oh, from the police. Oh, here we go. We're going to get towed off, do you think? It's not us. Oh, what was he after? It's a blue car. Oh. Wow, this is all very dramatic. This policeman doesn't tell us off. I will eat my hat. We're now stuck behind the tourist train. Just deal with that man, you see. They picked on him instead. Police station. Oh, this one looks shut. Oh no, is this the policeman on the left here? Oh, no, 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 no. oh he's over there though. He's, he's stopping people coming in. He won't be after us. Once we get to the top there, folks, we're uh, we're back in France, aren't we? Just across the bridge. In fact, I'm not sure. Exactly. I think it's just there. Yeah, where the red building is. That's France, isn't it? Yeah. Where it says Rock Room Cap Mount Town.
we're just uh, gonna now hopefully get a charge and then we're going on to see the uh, the pooch <gasps> will we be returning home with that doggy in the window oh. the one with the funny eye who knows Little tip for you, this, this charger wasn't working because there's no door and you have to shut the door to make them work. But we always carry a bit of tape or blue tack. And if you can see, Mr. Boo's just put some blue tack in there. And uh, lo and behold, it stays on. But the minute the blue tack comes off, you won't get a charge. <laughs> Genius, isn't it? Love it, love it. in Elton after our um, uh, visit to uh, the Chihuahua breeder um, it was <laughs> it was quite an experience because we got there and it was sort of up a, a back street that we'd never been to and a magic alley a magic alley uh, and uh, the gate to the house looked a bit but it was old wasn't it yeah um, but anyway we eventually rang on the buzzer and then we heard a lot of yapping coming from inside and a crying baby and i was beginning to think oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah um but um uh, uh we were invited in by a very nice guy uh who said you've come to see the petty chien uh and then we met his his wife uh and uh and the menagerie of of uh uh, chihuahuas. There were seven, uh, seven I they? think, yeah, in a in a sort of cage. No, not a cage cage, like a... Like, a playpen. Like playpen, playpen. Uh, and they all looked very lovely, and uh, there were lots of rosettes on the wall and trophies, um, uh, and we kept on talking to the, the people, uh, uh, trying to just make sure that we... We were sh we were certain they were who they said they were, and it wasn't yeah. some strange weird puppy farm. But um, uh, they they hundred percent were the people who they said they were, and they were absolutely passionate about breeding chihuahuas, etc., and showing chihuahuas, and, competing, uh, competing, and they want to go to Crufts and uh, um, etc. Uh, we were then introduced to uh, Arabaz, Arabaz, uh, and. Uh, Arabaz, by the way, has a brother called Hashtag, uh, um, because Arabaz in French means at. That's the, the at sign. sign. So like at me and mon ami or whatever. Um, and uh, Arabaz definitely has this thing on her eye, which has been caused by, a, uh, they think, probably a scratch. Maybe from another puppy. Maybe from another puppy. Uh, and it's produced a little sort of cloudy thing on, on her eye. But apart from that, seen very nice initially she was very yappy and, and a yeah. bit standoffy uh and then she sort of warmed to us a bit um and i was still a bit jury out to be honest uh but then it transpired that the guy uh, is actually a vet yes uh, a veterinarian where practices in uh monton uh and uh the more he talked about the dogs and the more his wife talked about the dogs the more confident i became that they were the real deal yeah. and that they really did care about dogs that they weren't just some dreadful puppy farm or something uh i say we had already looked them up but but you just don't know um so uh eventually we had to make a decision uh and um well, it's tricky because there's an awful lot of paperwork to do in France if you're going to buy a dog now. Mm -hmm. It really isn't just, you know, when I bought my first dog, it was from Doreen's Dogs in Acne. I just gave her 20 quid and took it away. Um, it's not like that now. Um, but um, to cut a very long story short, we've just walked uh, right across Monton in the rain uh, and... Uh, we did it with um with Arabas. This is Arabas. Look at the camera, baby. Look at the camera. Arabas. Look. This is it. You need this to get used to these. This is your new best friend. 
Um, but she seems mm -hmm. very sweet, and uh, <laughs> she, and unlike Halloween thus far, she, she she doesn't bite me when I stroke her and she's in his arms. Um, but this is Arabas, and uh, um, I have a feeling she's going to be figuring quite a lot in our uh, lives and uh, videos going forward. It's a happy day because uh, Arabas has joined our our pretend family. Joined the team. Joined the team. Welcome to the channel, Arabas. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to drive back to Frost now in the rain. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been quite a day and uh, it's not quite over yet. But if you have, please give us a like, please give us a comment. And uh, we hope you're going to uh, enjoy Arabas going forward as much as we are, we hope. Um, apparently she likes chewing shoes. Mm. Bye. Bye. Love